earliest memories of, of, of uh, having a pet, I mean, my first pets were turtles. They weren't the little, you know, red-eared sliders that you see in pet stores all, all the time. They were actually big diamondback terrapins. They seemed very, very interactive. And I remember even as a, as a fairly young kid at eight or nine years old, I, I was always in wonderment about the fact that this animal seemed to interact with me, but it was a turtle. It wasn't a human, it wasn't a dog, it wasn't a cat. It was actually a, a reptile. And that sort of started me going on this path. You know, uh, what is going on in the mind or in the brain of that animal? Um, what is he thinking? And from there, you know, after a long hiatus, um, I started wondering about this, but in, in a more detailed fashion and sort of in a, expressed in a scientific way, you know, the same sort of question. Um, what uh, is going through that animal's head. And it applies to octopus as much as it, as it applies to my pet turtles. Okay. David Edelman is pushing the boundaries of where consciousness is. Uh, in his work with octopus, we can see animals that uh, are clearly behaving in ways that we would impute consciousness. And these are animals with brain structures which look nothing like mammalian brain structures. His and other studies are showing us that, well, maybe we should be a little bit less arrogant and uh, we shouldn't consider ourselves as the only conscious beings on this planet. Some people would suggest that finding consciousness in other animals, in animals that are non-human cases, uh, somehow we sort of devalue our uh, specialness or we're less special in the world. And whilst, you know, one can make that, that argument, I think, in fact, that it's um, very, very valuable information because it suggests that in a certain sense we're not alone in, in, this, in, in, in this world. Um, we're not isolated as the single case. And um, as somebody who not only studies animals but actually loves animals, I believe um, it forges in a very important connection and deepens that connection, I should say, uh, between me and, and the animals I study and the animals that uh, you know, excite me and infatuate me.